guys, so putting up a new video for self-latching relay. I fixed the problem that we had. Let's get after it here. So this is actually the same drawing. I just fixed it on there. And for you guys that didn't know what the problem was, is I actually had these two things backwards. Um, I, this is normally open and this is normally closed and that's wrong. That's why I'm redoing the video. So if you're watching again, please do watch the video. Basically going to be the same, but um, I screwed up and I wanted to make sure I fixed it. So I wanted to make sure that I was not giving you guys the wrong information. So I just, I, there will be a video up already for regular relay. Um, so check that out if you haven't, or if you're wondering how to wire a relay. Now this is for self latching relay. Now what a self latching relay is, if you put power to the relay, the relay will stay latched until you turn the power off. So the easiest way for me to, how would you, what would you want to use this for? You would want to use it maybe for a kill switch. Um, you could use it for a kill switch for your fuel pump. You could use it for a kill switch for your uh, coil, let's say. Um, you could use this for a light that you want to stay on. You know, if you want your lights to stay on all the time, um, I don't know why you would want that or a, a safety switch or something like that. So as long as the power is on, um, it stays on all the time. So literally you, but you have to arm it. I guess I should have to, I should say that you have to arm the switch. So if you're not arming the switch, then you, or you're not arming the relay, then the relay won't come on. So you can use it for all kinds of stuff. I use it for nitrous applications, uh, line locks, all kinds of different stuff. But anyways, um, let's get after it here. So something that I did want to talk about that I don't think I did in the first one. Uh, so I wanted to mention this. So this is how you wire it. Um, for you guys that aren't familiar with the wiring on them. Um, this is just a regular relay. I obviously haven't wired this one. I have one wired sitting here just so I can show you guys how it works. So this is your power in, this is your power out ground power. Doesn't matter. You can do ground or power on either of those whichever way you want. It's just a coil. It doesn't matter. Um, I usually do black for ground because automotive uses black for ground and then white for power is that's how I wire it. You can wire it either way, whatever floats your boat. So basically on this, you're going to have your power in your power out, but what you need to do if you're using this side of the coil. So if you're using, if you look at it like this, if you're using this for your power, like I would, you need to loop these two together basically you need to loop these two together so and basically what that does is holds the relay snapped together basically so you have a momentary contact so you're gonna have to have a momentary contact in there um here i'll show you all right guys so how you get this thing wired super super easy to do so this is going to be your few or this is going to be your keyed on power so this is that is something that i need to mention if you're wiring this up this needs to be keyed power or run off of another relay is the only way this can work because you have to shut it off you physically have to shut the whole relay off for this to work so if you charge the relay like let's say you turn let's say you have this set up so that when you turn the key on it charges the relay okay so the relay doesn't turn on right but now you push your push button, it stays latched, right? So it's bright. So it's a self latching relay. So you don't have to have an actual switch to turn it on. But the nice thing about this, so let's say you turn your ignition off or you turn the switch, like it says as a master switch or something, it turns everything off. Turn it back on again, turn your ignition back on, nothing happens. Hit your momentary switch, turns back on and stays on. So there's lots of different things you can use this for. I just thought I would mention it to you guys uh, because lots of people, you know, like people ask me questions about certain things and I just figured I would mention this. So pretty simple to do. But like I said, this does, when you're wiring this, make sure you do have to have for it to work um, for a self latching setup is that this has to be a keyed power for this to work because you have to physically be able to shut it on and off or you have to shut the ground on and off. You can use a power or ground, but most systems don't have a ground shut off. So it does need to be set up that way. I know quite a few people that I've done this for is for turning lights on. 
um, like headlights, any of that type of stuff, where you just push the button, you don't have to worry about shutting them off, and then you shut it off, but then if you don't wanna have your headlights on, you don't push the button. So that is one way you can do your headlights. Um, just depends on what you wanna do. But I just thought I'd mention that. This is a lots of guys, it might help a lot of guys out with different stuff. I've used this for, for nitrous, um, lots of times on nitrous and water meth and that type of stuff, so that it's armed. And then when you shut the truck off, shut the car off, whatever it may be, um, it doesn't turn back on again. You physically have to arm it again. So you don't have to have an arming switch. You don't have to worry about turning it on and off all the time. You shut the car off or truck off, start and then turn it back on again. With, unless you arm it again, it doesn't work. So it is real. I like it for a lot of things, but I just thought I'd mention. So just to give a quick little show on it, how to wire it, like actually how to wire it. So like I said, this is going to be to your keyed power, your ground. Obviously, my ground is run right to the light, so you're not going to usually have your ground from your other, whatever your system is, right in the same connector. But you need to loop these two wires. So this is your power to your coil. You also need to hook this to your momentary switch, and then it needs to come to the power that comes out of the relay. So when the relay latches, it holds it on. So hopefully that helps the guy out. Uh, like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments, and remember, it's not rocket science.